welcome guys to today's class in this today's video we want to look into something else that is we want to discuss possible slopes and intercepts you can get from a compound pendulum experiment yes if you check our channel you will notice that we have posted experiment of a compound pendulum we showed how to get the slope and intercept without performing the experiment yes but question is how do you know if you are correct or if you are not correct yes that is very important and so this video for today's o will try to take care of that issue or that problem so to speak okay first of all we want to recall what is the formula for compound pendulum oh the formula is period is equals to 2 pi root h square plus k square all over g h where k is the radius of gyration yes that is the distance of separation of the object from the world as a rotation the h is the height given to you and so from mathematics this means that t is equals to square root of carry 2 pi bring it inside it becomes 4 pi squared bracket h squared plus k squared all over g h okay and so removing this square root we'll be having here to be t squared equals to 4 pi squared times h squared plus 4 pi squared times k squared all over g h and so take this h to this side we'll be having h t squared equals to 4 pi square h square this g goes for this two all over g plus 4 pi square k square all over g yes why are we taking this h to this side it is because in that video when we are asked to plot graph of h t square that is meter second squared against against the height square height square that is meter square so this was the graph we are asked to plot in that video we have on our channel and uh, we have it uh, that we have to take this h to this side now having gotten this that means from comparing of y equals to m s plus c this is standard equation of a straight line that whenever you plot the graph of y against x what is beside that horizontal value becomes a slope and this becomes the intercept and in this since you are plotting h t square against h square what is beside it becomes your slope m and the other remaining thing becomes your intercept c this is your what y why this is your x accordingly so plotting y against x that is h square this will be your slope and this will be your intercept then we said that g is constant that is 9.8 meter per second square right but uh, because no, every, no one is perfect so we cannot guarantee that everyone will be getting 9.8 so it has a range and that range is 9.54 9.54 meter per second squared to what 10.06 meter per second square or you have it to be 954 centimeter per second square to what 10.1006 centimeter per second squared that could be the range yes yes now after you have noted this that means if you come to this what you have to write for this is since this is your slope 4 pi square over g it means that the slope you have to get is 4 pi square all over what 9.54 then then this one 4 pi square all over 9 point all over 10.06 yes then for this one if you are using centimeter per second square 4 pi square all over 954 then to 4 pi squared all over okay uh -huh. that means you whatever you get here and whatever you get here you have to be very careful with it so this is 4.138 4.138 3.924 that is what you get here and that is what you get here okay then for this one, you'll be getting 0 0.044 and 
zero point zero four one four. That when you press four pi square over nine five four from your calculator, you'll be getting this. When you press four pi square over one thousand and six, you'll be getting zero point zero three three nine two. So you have this. So that is a range it will be. Now because this one is smaller than this, we'll say it ranges between three point nine two four to four point one three eight that is the range if you are plotting the graph of ac square against it and they are meter second square and meter square but when you are plotting it in terms of a centimeter second square and centimeter square that was for this you will be having that this is smaller than this zero point zero three nine two to what zero point zero Four one four. The unit for this is centimeter per watt. The unit for this is um, the unit for this slope because this g is down here. So this will be second squared over what meter? That is the unit for the slope. Why this is second squared over centimeter? Please. Note that all these units we are writing are very, very important. Why plotting your graph if you do not uh, attach your unit? Or why asking any question from graph if you do not attach units? In physics, chemistry, in science, altogether, units are very, very important. Okay? And we have gotten a possible slope. That was why in that video I posted, you will notice that my slope, I plotted HD square, that is meter second square, against this one, meter square. I got a slope of uh, 4.117, I think. Yeah, I got a slope of 4.117 something. Uh, second square over what meter? My question is, is it in the range? From this to 4.138, this is in the range. And that is why we say we are correct. So this was the slope I got from that experiment. And it falls or tally with the range we have. So once you're able to get your slope, if you want to get your intercept, it's easy, very, very easy. Now, what you do is that you take, get the mean, mean of all the all the values you have in HT squared. If you get the mean, okay, in my own, I have 0 0.39 plus 0 0.44 plus 0 0.51 plus 0. I think, 0.60, then plus 0 0.71. This was the values I got for my HT squared. Are you getting it? And so, all these values I got, if you add them up and divide it by, I mean, they are 5, you will be having a 0 0.53. That would be the mean. So, when you divide everything by 5, you will be getting 0 0.53. You also get the mean of, mean of H squared. Mean of H squared means you have to say 0 0.01. In my H squared as is, I got 0 0.01 plus 0 0.02 plus 0 0.04 plus 0 0.06 plus 0 0.09 are you getting it and so you add them up and divide by how many they are you have so we call this our s as is i will call this our y as is that hd square and our h square right then intercept c is y mean of y minus slope mean of the s as is what is the mean of y 0 0.53 minus bracket what is the slope Look at the slope we got in that experiment. We say 4.117. That is what will help you to know the exact uh, uh, intercept you have to get. Times, times what is the mean of x? Mean of x is uh, once you add up this and divide by 5, you will be having 0 0.04, 0 0.044. That is mean of the x. When you add up, when you add up all this and divide by 5, you'll be getting 0 0.044. Check it to your calculator, please, okay? So, we have 0 0.044. So, when you say this minus bracket this times this, it will be giving you that intercept is equal to 0 0.349. This times this minus it from 0 0.53. You have 0 0.349. Then, because the intercept means where it means the y as is this is your y as is the unit of y is meter second square that was the unit of the y as is okay 
so we have it to be this. So the intercept is this. Then from here, we said that our intercept we should get is this. So we have to equate this with this so that we can get the actual value of k. We now say, therefore, 4 pi square over g is the slope. And that is, what is the slope? This. 4 pi square over g, k square, is equals to what? The intercept c. And the intercept is 0 0.349. Please, this formula you have here, c equals to mean of y minus m, mean of uh, is constant for you to get the intercept on the vertical wall as it is constant, okay? Then, this is your slope. That is 4 pi square over g. And we got it from our graph to be 4.117. Please try to watch that experiment of compound pendulum. Dutch does Daniel experiment of compound pendulum so that you will see what we did there. So we now see that 4.117 k squared is equal to 0 0.349. Therefore, k squared will be equal to 0 0.349 all over 4.117. So when you do this, you'll be getting about 0 0.0848. So you'll be getting 0 0.0848 meter squared. That is all you'll be getting. Okay? Then k will, is equal to square root of, since k square is this, k will be equal to square root of 0 0.0848. So when you do this, what it will be giving you is... 0 0.291 meter so it will be giving you 0 0.291 meter and that experiment when we started with the experiment we got scale to be 0 0.291 meter yes this scale means radius of gyration of that what uniform meter rule so radius of gyration of it is it so from this um, formula you can see that you can know possibly what is your worst slope or if you are correct whatever you get you know that it falls within this range once it falls within this range you use that slope to what package it in your intercept value or formula to be able to get your what intercept then you come and equate what you have here with your word that intercept and when you equate it what you'll be having is this you say k square just carry your slope, replace it 4 pi square over g. You have it to be this, k square equals to 0 0.349, okay? And so, you make k square subject of formula, you'll be having 0 0.349 over this, it gives you this. k equals square root of this. That is where you will know the value of your uh, radius of direction. That is in case you were able to plot your graph, get your slope, but you are trying to know if you are correct, you will check up with this pattern after checking it if you also want to know the exact radius of direction you'll be getting from your, that your graph since your slope fall within that range to get the exact value of radius of direction please just use the following method and sort it out so that you will be very very correct with your answer thank you again for watching today's video